Hello, and welcome to a very special concert from the Royal College of Music. Um, one of the very few positives about our current situation is that we can still collaborate across the entire world. And I'm delighted that we have been able to work with the Head On Photo Festival, which is based a long way from wintry London in Sydney, Australia, and which, as well as staging live events, also exhibits in an online space with images that are striking and remarkable. Our composers today have chosen images from the Head On Portrait Award and produced short pieces inspired by what can sometimes be complex and difficult subjects. Music and still picture are very different things, opposed even. The one is physical, in each case here today a frozen moment from a lived life. Music is abstract, an art in which the human form is only represented by the performer, and an art which exists only in time, that dies when the music ends. So this is the challenge for our composers, to use concrete image to inspire and create an event made only from sounds, pitches and rhythms. You will hear a great variety of approach, and occasionally very different music to the same image but all of it is a personal and creative response on behalf of the composer. My huge thanks to the Head On Photo Festival and their director, Moshe Rosenzweig, and also to the artists who have generously given permission for their wonderful portraits to be used today. Thanks also to our players, to the RCM Studios and to Emma Diss, who have all worked so hard to make today's concert happen. Um, my name's Sasha, I'm a first year composer at Royal College of Music and um, my piece Introspection is inspired by a photograph taken by photographer Esther Bunning and the picture is called Love Letters. However, when I saw the picture I thought it looked quite sinister and almost disturbing as the picture um, depicts a little girl um, looking at a mirror with scribbles all over it and the picture is in black and white so it's quite contrasting. However, when I was reading about the description it, at it actually said that the photograph is an introspective study into the girl's character as the scribbles are actually love letters she writes to her family. So throughout the piece I really wanted to bring out the contrast between the disturbing aspect of it but also the study into the child's character.
Some of our composers can't be here today. Um, one of them is Nacho Manamesas. He is a first year master's student in composition for screen. His piece is called Seclusion 19 and was inspired by the photo Dante First Light Milan by Denise Martin. Nacho says he was immediately attracted to this photo as it seems to reflect his own emotions in the midst of the current pandemic. Certain elements of the room reminded him of his own student accommodation and brought memories of his own recent experiences in a virtual state of seclusion due to the coronavirus crisis. My name is Jack ledger -Davs and I'm a first year composer at the college. The photograph I chose to write for, which was taken by Rachel Mouncey, is called In the Eye of the Storm. The reason I was attracted to write for the photo was because it was the most arresting and immediately emotionally impactful photo. Uh, in the piece, I wanted to reflect on Bruce Pascoe, who is pictured, and the stress and loneliness he endures as he deals with two firestorms at once. The first being a literal firestorm threatening to engulf his home in rural Australia and the second being a figurative one as questions swirl in the media surrounding his supposed Aboriginal heritage. Thank you. 
Delithfield. Delithfield is a first year BMAS student and she has chosen Nicola Morley's picture, Menshar, from Until You Spread Your Wings, You Will Have No Idea How Far You Can Fly. In this picture, a girl named Menshar is drawing her future self on the canvas, dreaming of becoming an artist. Delith has tried to reflect the colour palette she is holding by using a range of timbres on the vibraphone.
Hi, I'm Kamari. Hi, I'm Kamari Stocks. I'm a first-year undergrad composer. Uh, the picture I've chosen is Motherly Love, and uh, my piece is a lullaby with a B section that is reminiscent of a baby crying.
Jasper Eaglesfield is a first year undergraduate composer and the photo he has chosen is Dante First Light Milan 2019 by Denise Martin. And he chose this photo because he felt it had a very immediate atmospheric impact and thought it was a very beautiful depiction of a very relatable scene. It portrays a very intense sense of loneliness and he wanted to write something that could create this same solitary atmosphere.
Hello, my name is Timon. I'm my third year undergraduate composer. I have chosen Jesse and Frankie by Grace Costa. What attracted me to this photo is the kind of tension that's in there. The presence of the horse makes it a bit awkward, as if the horse was going to run away or maybe kick the girl. Because of that, my piece has a structure of three dialogues, which always end in a fight. There are also sneaky breaks between, during which a different kind of tension is being held. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 
I'm Jasmine Morris and I'm first year undergraduate um, studying composition. Um, I chose Melanesia from Fugue Stick by a Aileen Smithson because I thought it was really interesting how she made a feature of the discolorations of photos and it reminded me of how photography is kind of uh, a dying art and that she makes such beautiful photos out of imperfections and so in the photo she bleached the negative colours um, to produce a, a sort of light blue and kind of metallic um, uh, discolorations around the photo and I thought that was really interesting. So I, I tried to bring that out in the music by choosing sort of unclean sounds on the violin so I used a lot of sol, sol pont and sol tasto and I tried to make a feature of that as opposed to having clean sound on the violin um, and that's basically how I tried to portray the image.
Ben Munro is a second year undergraduate composer. Uh, his piece is called Pulses for solo vibraphone. It was written in response to the image Goyo, Illicit Ink by Tim Franco. An obscure South Korean law makes tattooing technically illegal, posing a challenge for the younger generation looking to express themselves.
I'm Louis Enright and I'm a first year undergraduate composer and I've chosen the picture Jessie and Frankie by Grace Costa. Um, the reason I've chosen it is because it's a picture of a horse and a girl outside a swimming pool and it felt more light-hearted and innocent than the other pictures on selection which kind of felt more, um, more like they had a heavy kind of message and this one felt more fun and, um, and it had kind of more potential to write something, um, to write a piece for. So um, how this is reflected in the piece, it's called Six Step Paddle, which represents the four legs of the horse and the two legs of the girl. And it's um, supposed to kind of detail the process of them learning how to swim and the chaos that entails.
My name is Joy Hardy and I'm a first year undergraduate composition student. The photo I chose to write for was Rachel Manzi's In the Eye of the Storm. For me, this photo portrays the harrowing and painful narrative of fear in the midst of a storm. My composition, An Air of Despondency, attempts to demonstrate the outcry of grief and pain of one man as he battles with both the torment of loss and the hope he still holds. Within the process of my composition, I wrote a melody which represented the time before the storm. The final piece involves fragments of this melody, illustrating snippets of hope and the attempts to battle an air of despondency.
Hi, my name is Joseph Dawson and I am a fourth year undergraduate composer at the Royal College of Music. The photograph I chose for this project is a self-portrait of Carlos Barat, who, when I asked about it, he said that he self-portraits make up the majority of his work because um, they allow him to respond very personally, uh, to understand himself and the world around him. In this case, he said the picture was um, about self-care and loving who you are. Um, but he has a very excellent website, carlosbra.com, where you can view a lot of his work. But as for my piece, it's called PTI, Pardon the Interruption, uh, for Piano Trio. Uh, I knew that by requirement it had to be a short piece, no more than three minutes. Um, so it was going to cover a lot of ground very quickly rather than intensely focusing on one idea. Um, and so with that, it gave a piece a lot of vitality. Um, but also quite a muted effect because it, it does not stick to one emotion for very long. It jumps around quite quickly and is often very contrasting with the sections that came before it. Uh, the reason as for why I chose the self-portrait in particular um, is simply because it's the one that appealed to me the most. Uh, I did not work out or deduce any sort of structure or form from the photograph for my composition. Uh, I just wrote purely intuitively.
my name is Jan Pospichel. I'm a first year undergrad composition student. Uh, the photo I chose um, is named Je and Maya. It's by Asaf Tager. Uh, the reason why I chose this photo is because, uh, first of all, the photo is beautiful. It has a great uh, contrast between the ocean in it and the intimacy of the two women in it. And it reminded me of my sister, whom I love, so uh, I dedicated this whole piece to her. And the whole process behind it is I just decided to work with the child element in it. So all the rhythm in it should be the, the child. And then I put the ocean behind the child as a contrast in the middle. And it's a bit melancholic and it's because all photos are memories. So everything that's in past, even if it's the happiest memory, it still has the sprinkle of melancholy because it's gone. So that's my piece.
Hi, I'm Terence Wong, currently in the second year of the Master of Music in Composition course. I've written a little piece for alto and tenor saxophone duet titled Out Do You Do in response to an untitled photograph by John Frank taken in Yuan Dumu, Northern Territory, Australia in 2019. This photograph depicts a man who has placed a fried chicken bucket over his head in an attempt to reinterpret the seemingly cheeky spirit of the photograph into a childlike competition between the two saxophonists where they try to outdo each other in various aspects such as trying to play faster or louder or softer than each other. Please outdo yourself in enjoying this little piece of mine performed by Mivlak on alto saxophone and Bex on tenor saxophone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, my name is John Nelson, and I'm a first-year postgraduate composer here at the RCM. When I was looking over all of the photos for this head-on photo collaboration, I was really drawn to this portrait by Max Loxton, portraying this tattoo artist, Jaya Swartika. Foremost, I was intrigued by the unique nature of Swartika's silhouette, Shadow, which seems to be rotated 90 degrees and uh, projected onto the, the lace curtains that fall in front of him. In hopes of portraying this rotated shadow through music, I decided to work with this strict tether between the violin and the cello, where you may notice these instruments function together as one voice throughout most of the piece, and the same sort of tether exists between the two hands of the pianist, creating a somewhat glassy timbre. It is as if the violin and the right hand of the piano are shadows of their low register counterparts. Beyond these technical ideas, I wanted to be sure that I achieve a musical aesthetic that reflects the emotion that I see in Jaya Swartika's gaze. In him, I see a certain kind of pensivity and perhaps a sort of contained wonderment that I sometimes feel in myself as well.
My name is Darren, I'm a third year composer at the college and it's my utmost delight to be one of the composers of tonight's RCM Head On Festival. The piece that I wrote is based on a picture by Bob Newman that's titled Pa and his pet rooster and it's a picture that features a little boy staring dead on into the camera while holding a rooster in one hand. And as a composer I just thought that one of the best ways of painting this image through sound and theatre in a way is to write a piece for a solo maraca player that's titled Chicken Drumstick. And in doing so, um, what I strive to do as a composer was to be able to conjure as wide a palette of various colours, sounds, textures as possible, given the simplest of materials to work with fundamentally. And in a funny way, um, I feel now in retrospect, it sort of reflects an aspect of the picture that I was very much drawn to, especially in the earlier stages of composition, which was its ability to express in a similar way a large variety of very raw and very intense emotions, even though it is fundamentally a simple photograph of a child. My name's Sasha, I'm a first year composer at Royal College of Music and um, my piece Introspection is inspired by a photograph taken by photographer Esther Bunning and the picture is called Love Letters, however when I saw the picture I thought it looked quite sinister and almost disturbing as the picture um, depicts a little girl 
um, looking at a mirror with scribbles all over it under pictures in black and white, so it's quite contrasting. However, when I was reading about the description, it, at it actually said that the photograph is an introspective study into the girl's character as the scribbles are actually love letters she writes to her family. So throughout the piece, I really wanted to bring out the contrast between the disturbing aspect of it, but also the study into the child's character.